A bad start to the week in Asia. Chinese shares fell more than 8% on Monday. Major indices suffered their largest one-day drop in eight years, with renewed fears over the world's second largest economy. It shatters a period of relative calm in China's stock markets, since Beijing unleashed scores of measures to reverse a slump that began in mid-June. The fall came after weaker data on profit at Chinese industrial firms. That followed figures from last week showing factory activity at its slowest pace in over a year. Robert Halver is a market analyst at Germany's Baader Bank. China is hugely important for the world economy. If things continue like this, the central bank in China will buy its own shares of the companies in the country. China cannot get weak because otherwise the entire world economy will have a problem and Greece will look like a children's birthday party in comparison. The fallout was also felt in Europe, particularly the share price of German exporters. Darren Sinden is from Admiral Markets UK. Things like BASF down 5%, many of the German automakers down 3 to 3.5% 3 today. Um, and, and these, of course, are all very Chinese-centric uh, companies, a sentiment at least around them is. Um, the, the automakers, of course, have, have had a, had a marvellous time uh, selling their luxury cars into China over the last uh, five or six years, um, but sales are starting to dwindle. While some analysts say there was little to explain the scale of the sell-off, others fear that China might hold off from further loosening of monetary policy. That could be souring investor sentiment, as could the prospect of a rate rise in a sluggish U.S. market.